day. Tis a far cry from vermin. I cannot count the number of barbs I've heard uttered about the queen. Welcome, and well met. Dear, that's the wrong one. Ah, oh, apologies. Thank you, man. <sighs> Fie. My vision's growing worse by the day, I fear. Methinks it began when I was entitled on the transference of souls. A curious tome, this. It claims to grant. I thought I might use it to stock my shells with. Perhaps you will think me simple. Yet, tis most vexing. But mayhap there is hope for me yet. They're said to reduce fatigue of the eyes. Would you be kind enough to procure one for me? I must keep reading that grimoire. Much appreciated. I thought you might like this. I mean... Have you brought me a quince? Many thanks, sir. At last, I may continue reading that grimoire. This could be the turning point in my family's fortune. It would behoove us not to fall. Well met, sir. You'll be glad to know that I finally finished my reading of that grimoire we spoke of. Which brings me to a curious point. There's a favor I'd ask of you. I implore you. Find that second volume for me. All I want is to give my family a decent... A queer little shop in Vermin, is it? I wonder which... Mother, quick! Over here! Beg pardon, sir, but I must ask you to stop aiding my husband. He lost his eye while reading that grimoire. His eye! I can't bear to see him involved with that fell thing anymore. But he refuses to listen to me. He's been saying not to worry, that he'll make us more money soon. Tis as if he's lost his mind, oh Tis all my f- No, tisn't, dear, and don't you- Pray, sir, seek out that grimoire if you must, but do not give it to my husband. I beg of you. Ought we to give Sir Isaac- Welcome, sir. Contrary to me, if you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth. On the transference of... Is not like to do much harm or take care how you use it, sir. Ah! I see you desire one of my masterpieces. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. Something and see the truth for yourself. The item you requested is complete. Here you are, sir. Use it well.
Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you found the second volume of On the Transference of Souls, perchance? Fortune smiles upon me at last. With this, my shop's prosperity is all but assured. Thank you, Sir Arisen. Oh, thank you. Perhaps you'd care to join me. Come, bear witness. Let's send out a key to our guide. Mayhap you'll think this a trifle, but the pain I experienced at the coronation was beyond imagining. It is most curious that means of manipulation should exist, and vexing that should be in any hands. This is it. This is the moment I've been preparing for. Dear, is this truly safe? I'm afraid of what's to come. Have faith, my darling. All is well. You need only stand there and watch. Father, you don't need to do this. I'm happy with our life as tis now. Tis good to hear you say that, my daughter. But I've come too far. I must see this through. I believe I need only... Ha! Did I? Did I do it? All appears unchanged. A failure then. Ah well. I suppose our fortunes were ne'er likely to turn so easily. I've learned my lesson. No more of this grimoire nonsense for me. I'll settle for being a humble apothecary after all. My dears. Can you forgive me for my foolishness? Oh, Isaac. You two had the right of it all along. I ne'er should have chased after a silly dream like this. Father, I... I shouldn't have complained. I know you do your best for us. You always have. Enough of that now. You've naught to apologize for. Tis a father's duty to provide for his children. I only wish I could give you more. You have my gratitude, Sir Arisen. Though I failed in my quest, I've learnt much. And from this moment forth, I'll be focusing my energies on naught but my trade. I hope I can count on your continued patronage, sir. It weighs heavily on my heart that we deceived Sir Isaac so. I cannot but wonder if we made the right choice. 